died in the Second World War. It's a very deep concept. But the way that was translated as a live show, and I remember seeing this at Earl's Court as a teenager, is suddenly you're watching a band that are gradually disappearing from view behind the wall. Is there anybody out there? The Wall was one of the most ambitious rock shows ever, but it was very much Roger Waters' personal project, and it marked a rift between him and the rest of the band. Is there anybody out there? Waters even fired founder member Rick Wright, claiming that he was making no contribution to the songwriting. Is there anybody out there? I was a huge Pink Floyd fan. When they did The Wall at Earl's Court, I went to see it every night. I had to wrestle with myself a bit because they were so deeply unfashionable that time amongst my generation. But I remember thinking at the time, this is probably the best show you will, you know, you will ever see in your life. And I'm sad to say, sort of all these years later, that, uh, that it was. The Wall was probably the most talked about too because of the, the engineering involved well, in, in it. The engineering on the Wolf Show was interesting because uh, 